Hello everyone, this is Kaij King, and today I am doing something a little bit different. It's been a year since I made uh, the film title, Watchy. So I figured it would probably be best if I went over the making of that, since that is my debut film. So there are a couple things I do want to talk about. First, uh, production of the film, um, it was a film with no script, and I literally did literally almost everything. I edited the film, I directed the film, I did the photography, special effects, you name it, I did it. And my brother helped me out on some shots when I, when I needed his help. And the film does have a lot of errors in it, but it's still enjoyable to watch. And it's 10 minutes long, and you can watch it on YouTube, on my channel, if you want to. So, this is the making of Mwachi. Okay, so first, I got inspired to make this film after watching a Cinemassacre video. It was called A Night of Total Terror, and some of his other home movies, like Snicks and all that. If you don't know who Cinemassacre is, then check his channel out. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, in his uh, <laughs> videos, I realized that filmmaking seemed really fun, and it probably was pretty easy making a whole movie. So I figured I like kaiju, and why not? Why don't I just give it a try? So I figured I would just, you know, like make this and make this movie, you know? And, uh, of course, there are problems I ran into it. Um, first big problem I ran into it was uh, how I was going to, like, record all the scenes and all that. Plus, I didn't know how the film would start out or how it would end. So, it was all made up on the spot. That was pretty much how it was. Uh, I'm going to try to say the scenes. Um, the film... Um, I had a couple ideas of how it could start. An early idea I actually had was that the film could uh, begin with a mad scientist or something like that, but that would be a little bit too hard. And I had the idea for another thing I could make for a movie, but that never turned into fruition, so that idea was just flung out of the window. So, uh... That was just an idea that was just falling out the window. Another idea I had was to like, have it start a little bit like a Godzilla film, like where you don't see the monster and you don't know what it looks like. But those ideas, I just thought that would probably be very simple just to make a, a like very easy like B-movie horror film. So that's what the film is. The film starts off pretty uh, simple. Um, two guys are like out hiking and walking. And for the, that scene, I used uh, I used uh, Jurassic Park figurines because they were the most human-like I could find. And I didn't really have the... I couldn't really use do live action. I didn't have actors. And it wouldn't be that easy. And I wanted to make the whole film in a day because that's just how I wanted to roll. So I did the whole movie in a day. Um, the first scene has literally them like there's uh, I forget their names because who, need, who needs names? Uh, they have a a Nick Van Owen figure and a Malcolm figure. They get attacked by Guanchi. The first scene of Guanchi, I had him, the camera moved, like zoom almost, not not zoom in, but like hover, like over to Guanchi, so you can actually see Guanchi. And uh, then you see how ridiculous I use uh, for the spider. Um, Mia. Oh, yes. Here are the spiders I use for the film. These are Chujaru Safari spiders. 
I had to use what I had, and the most menacing and the only spiders that I had were these. So I used it, and since the film was in black and white, you couldn't really tell what color it was. So it was left up to the viewer. That was until I made the sequel, and then that, that was a lot more problems. So that was just how that was. Um, um, uh, also, uh, other scenes in, to mention are um, the scene where uh, the building is destroyed. Originally, I had a build-up to that scene where uh, I used a Jurassic Park uh, Nick Van Owen high high figure. And he was talking about the day, and then Blanche just destroys the building, and it shows him dying. For some reason, that didn't make it up up, in, up into the film. That's because there orig there was originally two uh, versions. The first version is was about four minutes long and was extremely extremely short, and there was barely like much in it. It was just basically, oh, there's Blanche, destroyed stuff. Let's kill him. And then you kill him. And uh, that was how it was. But the, the editing software I had, um, it caused issues. And I had to like delete that version entirely. And I made a whole new film. And I frankly think it's a lot better. So the instruction scene, I have my brother. I was... I had my brother because that scene would be a little bit hard. I was directing it and moving the camera along. So I was just like, okay, so in this scene, you're going to be destroying the building and I want you to go crazy on it. So he did and he just went, uh, 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 and he just like started crushing it. And it, it was awesome. I thought it was pretty cool. And even though you could see his hands, I thought it was the joy of it because... That was how I was intending to be, but the second film kind of threw out that idea because I showed my hands less. So, if you're asking why my hands are in the shot all the time, that's because that's how it is supposed to be. But in Watch 2, that's not how it's supposed to be. I don't know, but that's... I just... It just changed. The film was it was the movie was made in August. I believe it was August fourth, but it was actually made made in August third. It wasn't uploaded until the next day. So actually two days of filming went into this. So made for two made two days on summer vacation. It was a whole lot of fun. Um other scenes to mention is the scene where uh the guy's like, I got a call. Guachi must be around here somewhere. I took that scene from a movie called The Car, 1977, because I love that scene. It's where a uh, sheriff is like, the car's up, I got him, he ain't going nowhere, and he goes up to a cliff. But then the car actually went around him, and it throws him off a cliff. So if you're wondering, what the heck happened to like the vehicle? Well, Guanchu went around the vehicle, and then it just destroyed it, and went off a cliff. But I didn't know how to show that, so... That scene is a little bit convoluted because you don't know what happens on that. I never, I also, I also didn't have any cliff to show, so I didn't have a Grand Canyon in my backyard, so that was an unfortunate thing. Nobody has a Grand Canyon in their backyard. Uh, other scenes are um, the road uh, scenes. They were filmed on a sidewalk, and they look. Real, they don't look the best. And the cars were Hot Wheel cars and uh, Matchbox and all that. So, And the soundtrack was me going... Or just use my mouth or something. And Guanchi's Roar, which I think is still awesome and I continue to use it to this day, is... But you probably knew that. I mean, it's one of those, uh, I just needed a unique roar. And I liked kaiju roars, and I didn't have a roar for my kaiju. So I was like, oh, who cares? I'll just use I'll just use a little... And it worked out fine. But it was also a scream, so it's a little bit... It's weird. Uh, 
scene where uh, a car or like whatever is thrown. That scene is actually my brother. He actually did that. That was on accident. I decided to leave it in the film. And it's actually, he wanted to like do a crossover with his kaiju, which was a B, and he was filming that after my film. And also, uh, in one of the shots, like where Wanchi's climbing up a tree, you can see, uh, for a split second, you can see his little kaiju up there. You can't really make out what it is, but it is indeed a Jaru uh, Bumblebee. And I believe his name is Glow Jacket, and it was up there for a split second. And then uh, the, the ending scene where I chose to like leave it on a cliffhanger, it was always intended for a sequel. I kind of did it like where John, Comp- John Carpenter did Halloween from 1978. Because I really enjoyed that film. And so, uh, anyways, that was my idea and my intention was to make it, you know, like a, like a, like how, uh, like how, like, Halloween 2 was, like, picks off right where it left off, and it's very similar, but not all the way similar and all that, so... That's how the movie was intended to be, and that's why it's like that. And I chose to film the first one black and white because it was cool, and a lot of films, first films in a series, are in black and white, and the sequels are always in color. Unless it's Godzilla Rays again, then that one's in black and white. But I just wanted to do that. That was my original intention and and uh, all that. And But that's literally all how the making came to be, and I think... I think uh, with my current project I'm working on, I now make scripts for my movies and even my videos in general. Like I have uh, all together, I have all together like worked on uh, and try to make them better. And I think uh, I've come a long way. I mean, I made a couple of other films like. I made a sequel to Guanchi, Guanchi 2, which was made a month, two months later. It was in July, so that oh, was like October, okay. Um, and then I made Prehistoric Island, and I believe that's it. And I currently am making on my next project, which is, it's going to be different because it's different and I'm not going to get too in depth with it, but it is going to be a horror film and which means blood and all that stuff. So, but I don't want to get too much in detail. The thing is though, uh, filmmaking is a lot of fun, but it can be hard and difficult and especially setting up shots. And, but before I go, one thing I want to do, uh, two things, uh, editing and special effects from the movie. Special effects, uh, I chose to do it all in black and white, and my phone didn't have a thing for black and white in general. So what I had to do was I had to do, like, forget about every color except for red. Now, I was wearing red shorts, and sometimes you can, because I'm I'm wearing red shorts, like, right now. A little bit of red shorts. And my brother was, too. And plus, my skin, like, you... It was, like, a little bit red, like, you could tell, like, in the movie and all that. And some cars are, like, orange picked up. So it's not all the way black and white, and that was my only way to get all in black and white. Because if I was to do it in green, then it would be weird. But, hey, makes it kind of cool, in my opinion. So, uh, editing, it wasn't supposed to be choppy or, like, aimed at, like, ah, 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 Originally, it was actually came out pretty good, but first editing software I ever used uh, didn't come out good at all. So, that's just uh, how it was. And um, this is it for this video. Um, I'm going to do a making of uh, the sequel as well, but that's probably going to be a little bit after. Because that one's a little bit more difficult to explain, and there's actually more effort put into that. But uh, this is Kaiju King. Hope you enjoyed this video, and bye!